It's 10.53 p.m. That was, that was me. Wait, I'm sorry, I cannot hear y'all. I'm Detective Alessandro with New Orleans Police Department. It's my partner, Detective Panera. Hi. So what, what's going on tonight, ma'am? Um, I was, I'm homeless. I don't okay. have anywhere, I don't have anywhere to go. I don't know of anywhere to go. Okay. And, um, I was sitting, like, I, I, when I don't have a place to live, I mean, I'm sorry, no hotel or anything. This is, this is where I go because I don't know, I don't have anywhere else to go. Shelters won't help. Agencies will not help. And so I, you know, was sitting here minding my business, listening to my music. And this guy, um with a red, big huge red suitcase and some a black guy dark skinned black guy with a big huge red suitcase and some other bag that looked kind of like a purse and he i think he was wearing a hoodie and i don't remember if he had dreads i think he he, he had a, like a black hoodie and maybe um i think black pants i don't remember his shoes but um he he came over here and like he was trying to come by me so I started filming and recording because people have been doing some trying and doing some weird stuff to me like okay. this this morning um you know I kind of dozed off so, a little so, hold on this guy what did he do to you when he came over um I don't know what he was trying to say at first because I was listening to my music okay. and he he came close like he was walking towards me okay. and it's like and I figured I was in immediate danger, so I started filming and, and recording. And then um, he he got mad at me, and then um, started bullying, harassing, and threatening me. And then he grabbed my phone, and um, and he took walked off with the phone. And then he threw the phone, my my other phone, okay. over. Uh, he threw it over there. Okay. Did you find and, that phone? But, but he, 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 threw, he threw it over there and then he walked off and then I, um, I picked up the phone and, and then um, went back to try to listen to my music. He, he walked off and then he came back and started harassing me again and coming by me again. And so I tried to film again and then he wrestled the phone out of my hand a second time. And, and and then he, my hand, it, my left hand, it kind of hurts a little bit from um, me trying to wrestle, me trying to defend myself. I didn't punch or hit him or nothing, okay. but um, me trying to defend myself and, um, you know, me trying to defend myself of him um, trying to, you know, take my phone. And then he walked off and I kept chasing behind him, screaming, give me my phone, give me back my phone, give me back my phone. And... I'm going I'm to be honest, you know, I'm a non-violent person. I, even though I'm in my situation, I have a bachelor's degree. So, I mean, to, I mean, I used, you know, this to, like, clean and sanitize everything. I was, you know, trying to use this. And um, so even, when he walked off with the phone the second time, did he give it back to you eventually? No, no, he didn't. He kept it? Yes, he kept it. Okay. And, and then the yeah, dispatcher yeah. kept asking me all kinds of questions and not even trying to get me any quick help. Well, I mean, that, they have a script that they have to read off of. I, I know it can be a little frustrating, but we're here to help you now, okay? Um, do you have a video? Okay. The video he, 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 took the, he took the phone with all the videos on it. Okay, I got you. About how long ago did this happen? Um, it was probably about between 10.05 and 10.15. Somewhere, it was before 10.30. Okay, I got you. Do you need, uh, do you need EMS to come check out your hand? I think I'll be all right, but it hurts, but I'll, I think I'll be all right. Okay, I got you. All right, ma'am. Um, Officer Roar, uh, he's going to ask some questions, and uh, he's, he's going to be taking your initial report. we got to make a phone call. We'll be right back with you, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm Officer Roar. I'm sorry this happened to you. Okay. Can I get your first name? Candy, C-A-N-D-Y. G R A N D P R E. G R A N D P R E. August twenty fifth, nineteen eighty three. And uh, you said you, you didn't have an address that you use at all. 
Um, you might get mail. Phone numbers do you have? A bunch of valuable and important information on sure, it. Sure, yeah. All right. Uh, a backup phone, you know, more like a tablet. Yeah, what kind of tablet was it? Oh, it was just a, a phone, but I was using it as a tablet since it wasn't in oh, service okay. anymore. What kind yeah. of phone was it? Um, when, what time did you say this happened? Um, it was after 10 o'clock. It was some sometime between 10:10 10, 10 and 10:30. 10, okay. Probably before 10:30. The other phone that this uh, this guy took. Do we have any way to track it? I I don't have a phone number on that phone, and I I, I mean this is the active phone, but the other phone I'm using I was using it as a tablet. I was using it more like a tablet because I, I mean, you know how when you have an old phone and you just don't have any use for it no more. So I was using it as a tablet, but I had like a bunch of valuable and important information on it. I got you. So there's there's no way to track it. Um, you said it was bigger. How big? Um, probably his the size of that phone. Oh, okay. So not like yeah huge. Yeah, bigger than this. skin black male um I'm, I, I'm he was i don't know if he was in between 30 and 40. yeah it has some writing on it i don't remember and i think he had black what pants color writing? uh i don't even remember but i re i just remember he had like a some like a, a what looked like a smaller like a woman's kind of purse or or something and also um um, I think it was like maybe black or brown or something. And he, he all I know is the biggest thing is he had a huge red um suitcase. And I mean for self defense, like I didn't I didn't hit him but you know, I also I also had describe it, I don't know what you oh a lock. I mean I was trying to get him off of me. I didn't hit him though. I didn't hit him. Okay, I mean, do what you have to do. A huge red suitcase. And is he wheeling it or carrying it? Wheeling it. Okay. Yeah. And where was the last place you saw? Well, he he looked like he was walking towards the Canal Street direction. Well, he could have probably could have walked towards that way, but I think he was walking towards I mean, Canal Street. How far down that way did you see him last? Well, you said you followed him, right? Yeah, well, I got down the down the stairs by the not by this side, the stairs by this side, by but by the Canal Street. I mean, close almost towards Canal Street. Which way did he go from there? Um, it looked like he, I, I mean, it looked like he, I, like he disappeared after I got down by the stairs over on that side over there. Um, Was this walking. the first time you've met this guy or anything? Yeah. Like so you don't know his name? He didn't introduce himself or anything? No, and, and they and they be having all kinds of weirdos try to come by me and talk to me and harass me, or you know just do weird stuff. And like as I said this morning, um, I had dozed off and fell asleep. I woke up somebody somebody put a black bra, um, next he, he somebody put a black bra, like right um next to on on right on this bench. I, I mean. Uh, the, the second time when he took the phone out of your hand, how did he take the phone? Well, I was I was sit, sitting here, okay. and you, you know he, he walked up to me and grabbed grab like both times he walked up to me and I kept telling him get away from me, and um he grabbed the phone out of my hand and and, and I tried to fight and defend myself. I mean I didn't punch or anything, but you know it was like a tug of war, and 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 he and he um and he had. You know, wrestled the phone out of my hand, and it's like he acted like as if he confiscated, like like an abusive, controlling boyfriend or something. Like I mean, but I don't I don't know him. I never in my entire life saw him. This phone I 
I had in my pocket, my right pocket, but the other phone, I had it in my hand. Yeah, and I was I was filming and recording him because, I mean, I had to film and record a lot of weirdos. Like, last night, somebody, well, it was three something in the morning, somebody startled me out of my sleep and I started to doze off. And, and he, you know, asked me for an aspirin. And I'm like, come on, like, you wake me up out my, I mean, to act, like, I'm by myself. I'm, I'm a disabled single female by myself. I don't know you, y'all, some guys. Um, last week or the week before, it was a, somebody who came at around 3 something in the morning. I don't know if he whipped his thing out. And then he came and sat here and acted like he was trying to hit on me. I, I mean, I To be by, I mean, because in, in Florida, I didn't know that the laws were different. But if you stay by a certain vacant property, you know. But I was in Gretna, and the police took. I hadn't gone to jail before. I don't have a. I didn't have a criminal record, but they took me to jail saying I was trespassing. And I, I'm like, well, I didn't know that I was trespassing, so I've been having to go to court with that because I don't. I don't have anywhere to go. And I'm gonna say this: I've had people online who are stalking, following, and harassing me and illegally tracking my every move. One guy, he he been stalking me for and harassing me for a couple of years, called himself Darnell. But, but he, that's not his real name. I don't I don't even know what can be done. And I don't even know if he was the mastermind behind behind what happened. Well, we're just gonna we're gonna focus on that. My disability, all I gotta do is be disabled and it's breaking the doggone rules. No, that's not how that works. I, I worked at shelter a good bit, but the thing is you can't go until about seven in the morning to get a bed. Well, with, with, my, with my disability, I can't be around people. Oh, uh, okay. Well, so I'm gonna ask you a few other questions. Uh, some of them can take a little bit more in depth. We're gonna do a separate report on this, okay? Okay. So, what's your name, man? Candy, C A N D Y. Last name? Grand Prix. G R A N D P R E. Grand Prix G R A N D P R E. Yes. Okay, What's your date of birth? August twenty fifth, nineteen eighty three. What's a good contact number for you? Way for us to like access any of the videos or pictures that you were taking, like cloud storage or anything like that. Does it sync to the cloud? Um. But I, I, for, I forgot to mention that he 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 threatened to he threatened to take this phone too. Where was that phone? It was in. in, in um, oh, I had it. I had. I was trying to call y'all. You didn't get any pictures or video on that phone, did you? No. With me trying to call y'all, I, I wish I I wish I did. I mean, I wish. I did. Uh, he was very dark skinned and I think he had dreads, and and he um. Had I remember he had a hoodie, a, a black hoodie, and I think black pants. I don't remember what kind of writing. I don't know if he had like writing and also maybe a picture or a drawing on his shirt or something, or image or something. What color was the writing in the picture? I don't even remember. But I, I all I, I remember he had like some kind of smaller, what looked like a purse, like a woman's purse or a mini backpack or something, and also. A huge red hood. Um, what a color huge, was that woman's purse? It, it looked like it was black, and it might have had some beige on it. But was he, was he wearing it on his body? 
No, he, he had it like on top of his big, huge red suitcase. Top of the big red suitcase. Yeah. yeah. So what time did you call 911? Um, it was I think it was before right before 10:45. Can you check maybe? on your call log? Um, hold on. 